Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Evil Within. I'm Dude Long Couch, and everything is shimmery. All right, I can hear some noise out here. I ran away from whatever the fuck was happening out here last time. Oh, maybe it was this thing. That's what they were trying to show me. This thing is moving now, so I guess I got to do. I got to activate three of those blood things. I don't fucking know, man. I don't know if I got two more of those in me. That this is this place sucks. Okay, let's go this way. I'm just waiting any minute for Ruvik to show up and just rape me right through the pants. And that's a creepy feeling. So this area is pretty large. I don't know the best route to take. We're going to try and explore everything eventually, obviously. I'm going to stop kicking the doors all the time in case uh, I trigger some kind of enemy or something. Oh, sniper ammo that I can't pick up. I can take one of them if I reload. Alright. Another place to hide. I might have to try that if I get cornered by Ruvik again. But running away and shooting at him did seem to do the trick. So I don't know. I don't know what the best strategy is. I like how I kept saying I wasn't going to kick the doors, and then I kicked the doors. Nice try, fuckers. You almost got me. Oh, come on! That was not... Oh, man, that was like right on the edge. Son of a bitch. Alright. I should probably heal up. I know that there's a syringe out there waiting for me, so I don't feel too bad about using that. Apparently the whole purpose of that room was for me to just get my face blown up. Grenade? I haven't found one of those in a while. Huh? Ooh, harpoon bolt. Nice. Yes. That's why I didn't make any of those. I think I'm going to try not to make any until I absolutely need them, because if you then find them in the environment... It's kind of a waste. Mansion music room note. Two worlds separated by a jagged chasm. Above, faceless spectators mocking the tragedy. Below, helpless victims losing everything. Okay. Um, guess I have to find something to unlock that. I don't know. Oh look, I walked right past that before, didn't even see it. That's good. And I know that there's another one waiting out in the main room too. I guess I can't break those vases though. I could probably shoot them, but... Oh, I can punch them. Sweet. You just gotta be really specific. Oh god! No, no, no. No, fuck you. Fuck everything about you, Ruvik. Please go away. I don't like you. Where are you? Where are you? Dude, he's so fucking full of shit. Just teleporting around. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so you don't even have to shoot him. You just have to avoid him for a while. That's good to know. What's this? Oh, I think I punched a face that was on there. God, this fucking sucks. This reminds me of PT. If you guys played that, it was the demo on the, the PlayStation 4 uh, PSN network. 
There's a fucking lady ghost that comes, just randomly pops out and scares the shit out of you. The difference is that she couldn't actually hurt you. All she did was scare the shit out of you. But Ruvik pops up, and if he catches you, it's just a fucking instant kill. No questions asked, just fuck you. Just die. Uh huh. Wonder if I can get a sneak kill on one of these guys. Yeah, I did get one. Of course, his buddy fucking managed to hit me while I was doing it, but that's okay. Took care of that with uh, minimal resources used, so I'm okay with it. This area is so large. There's a bookcase up there. Getting a decent amount of shotgun ammo back though. So I like that. Alright, let's try this. Whew. See, I feel like my timing on that was almost exactly the same as the last one that I failed. It's just so weird. Ooh, freeze bolt. That's a good find. Those ones are... Uh, I think they're tied for the most expensive with flame bolts. I think. Oh shit, there's an enemy. Luckily I got something for him. I wasn't sure if I could throw it at him. I wanted to try it, but that doesn't work. I just heard something else moving. Maybe it was his death throw. I don't know. Upper safe dial. This old safe dial is marked with the numbers 0 through 24. Okay. Is that indicating to me the number? I should probably remember this. How many dudes are there? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there's 11 people in masks. That might be the number for that dial. I guess we'll find out. There's a part of me that wants to run back and save because I'm going to be so super pissed if I get killed by Ruvik and have to redo this. That is such a lame mechanic. Uh, this is creepy as fuck. Okay. I guess that's everything in here. Let's go down yonder. Got that stuff. You fuckers. Putting these things everywhere. Whew. Okay. Stop kicking the doors. Why the fuck do I do that? It's like a holdover habit from uh, Resident Evil 4, I think. What was that? Did that door just bust open on its own? Hold on, let me grab my med kit. Yep, there's a guy. Does he know I'm here? I don't think he knows I'm here. Come on. Don't turn around. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah. Stealth kill. That's how we do it. Here's a note. Ruvik's room note. I saw her there again, standing at the end of the hallway. Long black hair, beautiful as ever, streaked with moonlight. Eyes, dark pools in her porcelain face. She wore her favorite red dress like a crimson sunset. Like a streak of blood in the waning light, Laura. Of course you shouldn't you couldn't be dead. Huh. So this is actually Ruvik's room right here. Does that mean he's gonna show up and <laughs> murder me? <laughs> I'm sorry, Ruvik, I didn't mean to invade your privacy. Okay, so that just wraps around.
Oh man, I should really go back and save. I should really do that. I don't know why I'm still going this way. This is just such a bad idea. What the fuck? What? Well, that was interesting. Talk about fucking random. Holy shit. Hey, it didn't use any of my ammo, though, so that's cool. Statue! Oh no! No, no, no! Oh no, you fuck! <laughs> Where's it going to start me? God damn it, man. Please tell me I don't have to do all that all over again. Yeah, I really do. That's what I have to do. Okay, guys. I'm going to cut. Until I get back to that place, I don't know how long it's going to take because I'm not going to play this anymore for a little while. i got to take a break. But I will uh, jump cut and we'll start right back there. Alright guys, welcome back. Now through the magic of editing, it looks like no time has passed at all. But this has actually been a long, hard journey to get back to this area. Um, Ruvik has killed me a bunch of times because he's bullshit. And for some reason, I had to deal with uh, a bunch more enemies when I got to this spot again, too. I don't know what that was about. Um, back in the library, I had like three or four more enemies that I didn't have to face the first time. And now they're being stingy with items. So, yeah, um, I'm going to go on record and I'm going to say fuck this level. I know it's, uh, it's not necessarily fun to sit there and listen to somebody not have a good time on YouTube. But I've got to be honest, um, I think that part of the value of a Let's Play is that you get honest, real-time feedback and, um, you know, honest reactions as opposed to a reviewer who has time to ruminate on what he experienced and give you feedback, you know, at his own discretion, which, you know, it can, it can be a good or a bad thing. It can go either way, honestly. Um, but yeah, this level is not fun. Having Ruvik be able to instant kill you like that, it's a pile of shit. So, alright, I guess we got another brain to inject here. Here we go. Subject number 12. Test 71B. Electrode placement. That fucking guy's still alive. Stimulation of amygdala, seat of emotion and memory allocation. The fear center of the brain. Okay, so subject feels as I do. This vessel is far too weak to withstand the psychological weight I myself bear daily. All right, so he mentioned fear, so that's what I'm going to try to to inject. And that'll be right around here, right? Okay, apparently that was not correct and that actually hurt me. Um, it, that looks like the general area. It's right on the right edge, about an inch up. Maybe here? Come on, man. Sometimes I don't know what this game wants from me. Okay, well that's actually as low as it can go. To the, to the bottom edge. So maybe bring it up a little bit. Okay. Okay. So there's two. And I don't think I can pick this up. Yeah, I already have five. Alright, well, maybe I'll try to remember it's there and see if I can use it up. What the fuck is that? 
It's like a map of somebody's intestines or something. Okay. So now that that's done, I really want to get back down and save. Oh, Father. If you only knew how satisfying that look on your face is, did you actually think if you locked me away, I would just cease to exist? Out of sight, out of mind. You did. You did. Didn't you? Oh, you were never out of my mind. I hope you're proud of yourselves. Okay. Are those his parents? I wish I could burn them, but I can't. I have no choice but to turn my back on them. Okay. Alright, so I think down here is pretty much the only place left I haven't been to yet. I swear to God, man, if he comes out of nowhere and kills me right now, I am gonna fucking lose my mind. What's that noise? What's that on the ground over there? Oh, my grenades are full. Okay. I missed that when I walked past it. That's another one. I'll have to see if I can use it up, I guess. If I have to leave it behind, it's not the end of the world. Okay. It's behind door number three. Here's a recording. Maximum frequency stimulation of cortical regions has proven less than effective. The subjects scream, the scream, but they die much too quickly. Tailored settings achieve better results. The only question that remains is which regions to focus on. Fear, hope, consent, trust, envy. Three of these are pivotal. But which will open the way? No idea what that stuff is talking about, as usual. Oh man, I should really go back down and save. I don't know why I'm pressing forward. Oh, it wrapped around. Oh, awesome. That's so good. Okay. Let me out of here. Let me go right now. You guys have no idea. You have no idea how happy I am that I made it out of that. <laughs> Missing Ruben Victoriano, beloved son of wealthy Victoriano family, has not been seen since a fire at the family estate. Okay. <sighs> All right. Let's, uh... Let's do the usual before I save and end the video. Let's see where my upgrades are at. I want to improve my weapons if I can. I can raise the multiplier damage, the damage multiplier of my pistol. That sounds great. Done. Sold. Next one's 12,000. So we're starting to get to the point where these uh, these upgrades are like pretty expensive, and we're gonna have to start making some tough choices. I think. I don't believe I'm gonna go for the fire damage on the harpoon bolts, even though I would love to have that. I think it just seems like the kind of thing that is not gonna happen in this playthrough, unless I get like a huge influx of. Uh, Holy shit, 7,000. Fuck yes. <laughs> Unless I get a huge influx of upgrade goo like that. <laughs> that's still not enough, but that's 7,000 I didn't have before. Oh yeah, it's it's a shame I didn't get to do it on camera. I did use up one of the uh, flash bolts. And 
it actually is pretty much exactly what I predicted it would be like. It's nice that you get to do a free, um, a couple free stealth kills, but it doesn't last very long at all. So I think in order to really take full advantage of that, we're, we're going to have to upgrade that, the time on those, um, to a little more than what they are. Actually, while I'm here, I might as well see what that costs. See if it's worth it. Let me see. Agony bolts. Explosive, shock, freeze, flash. Take it up to 7 seconds for just 2,000. That might be worth it, honestly. That's 3 extra seconds. That's enough for you to get maybe 2 kills. I was only able to get 1 stealth kill, because 4 seconds is not a lot of time. But that's that's a decent way to uh, dispatch of those guys. I'll do it. I'll go ahead and do it. It's one more method I have of conserving some ammunition. And then you can go to 10 seconds for 4,500. I'm going to I'm gonna not do that right now. But what I will do is raise the stock of something. One extra grenade for 1,000. That's a... Uh, it's pretty cheap. Maybe I can go back and grab that grenade in the house that I missed. And one more syringe for 5,000. Yes. Done. Down to zero. Money well spent. And I think next time I'll focus on the stock of my ammunition and the damage of my guns. So, okay guys, I think this video is probably about out of time. I got some editing to do, um, but hopefully you enjoyed watching. When you come back next time, we'll finish out the house, figure out where that last brain is, and uh, hopefully get out of this chapter. Because, shit man. <laughs> That's all I can say. That's all I can say is shit. So, thanks very much for watching. I'm Dude Long Couch, and you can check me out at GrownersGamers.com. I'll see you next time. Later guys.